Well, a warm welcome to this video where we're going to look at the key facts relating to monkeypox. First, we're going to think about how this disease spreads, how it's transmitted. It comes from close contact with animals or humans. It originally comes from animals. The reservoir is in animals. It's a zoonotic disease. It's spread in respiratory droplets, so we breathe it out, so you can breathe it in through other people's exhaled air. It can be transmitted from the lesions, that means the spots. It can also be transmitted by close direct skin to skin contact, especially if there's some broken skin. It can also be transmitted in body fluids, and we know that some of the transmission at the moment occur is occurring in the male homosexual community, as uh, the mucous membranes uh, component uh, there indicates. It can also be spread through contaminated materials, bed linen, clothing, towels, anything else like that. And a fomite is a physical object, like a surface on which the virus can sit. Now, although the virus has been spreading in the homosexual, male homosexual community at the moment, it's perfectly capable of spreading anywhere. That's just where it started off. Let's now go on and look at the clinical features. Now this information on clinical features comes from the NHS and the World Health Organization. The incubation period is 6 to 13 days. That's from when someone is first exposed to the virus up until the onset of clinical features. And there's a prodromal lymph adenopathy. Now the prodrome is when someone starts feeling ill before they have any specific features and lymph adenopathy is swelling in the lymph glands such as may occur in the neck, uh, under the chin, in the armpits or in the groin, the lymph adenopathy. That's prodromal, when the person just starts to feel ill, that comes on early. Then there's an acute illness with fever, more than 38.3 degrees centigrade, which is 101 degrees Fahrenheit. And of course, when you have these body temperatures, the person really feels quite ill. They have chills because when the body temperature is going up, the person feels cold and they'll seek warmth. They'll try and put on blankets and keep warm. Usually there's a quite a bad headache. There's muscle pain and uh, muscle aches, back pain, muscle aches. Myalgia and intensa, th th this term here uh, means weakness. There is a general weakness and tiredness. Followed by one to three days later, the progressive development of a rash. Now let's look at the rash. Here we see an example of the pussy spots caused by monkeypox. They can occur on any part of the body. Here we see another picture of the characteristic rash in monkeypox in a patient in Africa where the virus is endemic in certain areas. Now this picture actually shows the progression of a single spot. So it starts with this raised area becoming more prominent here. Then it gets pussy, it fills with pus. And then after a while that will burst then it will dry out and then it will gradually flake off, leaving a scab and it can leave a bit of a scar. It can also be very itchy and sometimes painful, this rash. Now, this is a picture of the pussy rash that you get in smallpox, which is thankfully now eradicated. But it does show how similar a presentation smallpox is to the disease we now have, which is monkeypox. And for comparison, we can see the similar pussy spots that develop in monkeypox in this picture from the World Health Organization website. Now, this rash often begins on the face, but in some recent cases, the rashes began where the person was actually contaminated, where the disease was transmitted through. And this was through uh, sexual activity in some cases. But generally, it starts with the face where it's more dense, there's a lot of uh, pustular spots on the face. Spreads elsewhere in the body and to other parts of the body, and it includes the soles of the feet and the palms of the hand. And the, the person becomes symptomatic, and then the rash is one to five days after the first symptom. So they're infected, they become symptomatic, and then one to five days, typically two to three days after the rash develops, after, first start after the patient first starts feeling unwell. Uh, the rash changes and goes through different stages before finally forming a scab which later falls off as we saw on those sequence of pictures from the NHS. It can look like chicken pox or syphilis or smallpox as we noted. These are called pox because they have pussy spots. Thankfully we don't have smallpox anymore but we do sometimes get chicken pox but this is a completely different virus from the one we're talking about now as is syphilis which is a bacterial infection.
Thankfully, we see very little syphilis now because it's largely eradicated with effective antibiotic treatments. As we saw, it starts with raised spots forming into fluid-filled blisters, then scabs which fall off and the lesions can be very itchy or painful. So have a high index of suspicion for these clinical features. Suspect monkeypox and contact medical advice or infectious diseases clinics as soon as you get that. The reason I'm particularly concerned about this is this disease can be passed on to children and cause severe disease in children. So know how it's transmitted, recognize it early, isolate, seek medical advice. Thank you for watching.